Hello and welcome to another day in Velomobile Paradise. Today is going to be a little bit different, not the usual tour video, but it's sort of a technical video. It is about the steering of my DF, and this of course has a history to it, and here's the story. In March last year I crashed hard into a curb and uh, ruined my left front wheel. The track was way off and the rods uh, were bent in several places. On another tour about three months later, uh, two of us crashed into a, a hole that uh, wasn't visible uh, really hard and again the track was way off um, apart from the fact that I had a snake bite. Okay, let's uh, move away from that topic for a moment and uh, uh, take a look at this huge radar telescope on the left side, a landmark uh, I often pass by. Okay, um, as we're approaching the high point uh, of today's short ride, I'll show you what Intercity Bike did to uh, repair um, the bends and the damage that I um, was supposed to have happened. I went to Dronten and got uh, new steering installed, a new steering plate you see here, new uh, tie rods, um, and also um, uh, at the bridge at the front end, uh, they cut a hole in there uh, because uh, servicing that was a real pain, and now it can be done much easier through the hole and also through a hole uh, on the underside of the, of the body. This video is the first ride with the new steering. Uh, my standard 45 kilometer short loop into the mountains and back by the river. Uh, you get 12 kilometers or 18 minutes of uncut uh, footage uh, from this uh, loop. And uh, you see here the Eiffel Mountains to the right and the Seven Mountains uh, in the distance to the left. Um, as I uh, approach the village of Werthofen, uh, go down through the village uh, and then down into a dip and up through the next village and then there's a downhill with some sharp bends and that's uh, why I'm going here because I want to test the performance uh, of the steering on um, higher speeds, sharp cornering uh, and less than perfect roads. Okay, so down into the village. It's one of those sleeper villages where during the day this uh, was around lunchtime. Uh, there's hardly anybody out on the roads. Um, not by car and not uh, on foot. So good riding. Check in for traffic from the right and on I go towards the main road, which doesn't have much traffic either. So the road takes a, a short dip here, um, followed by an uphill, but I turn off after the dip. So a good opportunity to pick up some speed. And you see it's, it's uh, dead straight. I could ride uh, with hands off the steering wheel here if I wanted to. I don't, but I could. So as the uphill begins, I turn left towards the village of Oedingen. And you see if, uh, if I needed directions, I... Uh, all I needed to do was to uh, look for the Seven Mountains uh, because that's where I'm, I'm heading uh, eventually. This is the uh, look back towards uh, Werthofen and the hills that I've come across uh, to get here. And that's the Seven Mountains you see over there in the distance to the left. And 
into the village is a gentle downhill of sorts, uh, followed by a short and steeper uphill uh, to exit the village. There's nothing here, no store, no shop, no post office. I think there used to be uh, one uh, bar here which is closed. Uh, probably the church is the only um, public building uh, that you would find here. And there's, that's the uphill. I pick up a little speed. Um, Sometimes when my approach is a bit faster, I try not to go below 30, at least as long um, as there are buildings on both sides. But usually after that, I, I take it easy. Um, no need to uh, I'll kill my knees um, on this because there's the downhill coming up and um, time to enjoy. But, you know, as the uh, incline is around 8%, uh, I used to do this in the small ring. Nowadays I always go up here uh, in the big ring um, and that also gives me some satisfaction that I can do it without any problems. So we're about 35 meters lower than we were at the high point, uh, but now we're going to kill uh, 200 meters uh, going down into the Onkelbach Valley. But first of all, uh, be a bit cautious because you don't want to meet the bus uh, right in, in, the, in the corner, uh, but let him take the corner first. The first of several um, rail bends. There has been some work done on the road, but it's still pretty bumpy in parts. Bend coming up. And I can already see, you can, but I can already see that there's no traffic cupping up that road beyond the next bend because you can, you can look down on the road that's uh, coming up here. All right, and this is a uh, really sharp one. It's a hairpin turn. There are a few more, but uh, softer bends coming up. Uh, but on the other hand, the pavement is, uh, is worse uh, uh, than it was uh, higher up. Steering is perfect. Uh, good feel. You need a bit more power with version 3 of the steering than with version 2. Um, it's not twitchy at all. Uh, the, the version 1 was twitchy. I had an early DF number 9 that was pretty twitchy. Uh, but this one is, is, uh, is excellent. All right, and we're entering the village of Unkelbach. Time to slow down. 
uh, on the final stretch, I, I don't pedal at all. I, you know, just by rolling, you go up to 70, and then you have to, to reduce to 30 here uh, as you enter the village. And the village has a nice short uphill coming up. Uh, that I like very much because the momentum and some pedaling uh, easily carries me over the uh, uh, over that uphill. And you see I'm already at 33, 34 again and still going uphill. Good opportunity to uh, pass some roadies. Uh, sometimes I meet them here. confess to be speeding here. Speed limit is 30, uh, but there's nobody on, out on the roads, uh, and I just let it roll here. Um, but still, you know, I'm going at 40 is, um, is over the limit. Now the downhill continues. Um, as we're leaving the village now, and pretty soon speed limit will be 50, um, and that's good. Um, I don't need to be doing any pedaling. Um, uh, 50 I can do easily. Uh, let me see, I can do a little bit more than that without pedaling. Okay, don't hold it against me. And pretty soon this downhill part will end, um, and that is followed by a stretch of road, not totally flat, but uh, nearly flat, uh, about four kilometers. Uh, and that's also a good opportunity to see uh, how the steering behaves at speeds bet between 40 and 50 um, on uh, roads with traffic. Passing under the railroad and the uh, uh, main road, here there is the uh, little town of Onkel over on the other side of the river. See behind this uh, low wall there is the uh, Rhine. While I'm heading up that ramp to access the main road along the uh, river on the left side. Riding is good here and fairly fast too, um, and traffic is moderate in the middle of the day. There's the uh, bus coming up behind me. It's uh, the red color shows this is the buses operated by German Rail. And what I didn't know is uh, he will have to stop pretty soon because that's where the drivers take uh, their breaks between tours. See, he's been, he has pulled over, and in front of him is the bus that has been waiting there, and that will start his tour pretty soon.
now that the next one is there to take his break. Entering the town of Oberwinter now, that is passing by the town of Oberwinter because you don't really go through the town because the main road bypasses the town along the river. And in the distance to the right you can already see the Seven Mountain area again. Let's just follow me on this uh, road for another good kilometer or so, and then I'll end the film there um, and spare you uh, the part of all the trail riding um, back to home. It's also pretty, but uh, uh, check out my many other videos and you will certainly find some uh, with uh, um, views from the remaining uh, stretch. Now this is the next town, this is called Roland's Eck uh, with a pretty well-known old railroad station which has been turned into uh, um, a restaurant and museum, uh, has a new edition uh, which is devoted to Hans Alp, uh, the artist and sculptor, uh, very worth uh, visiting, I can tell you that. And you see I'm cruising along here at uh, 48 kilometers an hour doesn't take too much of an effort um, and it shows me that actually um, uh, wheel alignment uh, is good otherwise I wouldn't be doing 48 here Over here to the right is the turnoff to the ferry that I use many times um, when I'm doing a very short loop just by the river is my I think it's a 30 35 kilometer loop or so when I'm just going south down the river cross over here or to the other side and go back up uh, on the uh, right side of the river. You see the seven mountains there. Um, I'll have to pass these mountains uh, and then I'm home. Okay, thanks very much. That's all for today. And I uh, hope you will uh, want to join uh, me at some other ride in Velomobile Paradise. Take care. Bye-bye.